All right, so recently on the Bitcoin network, there's been some uh, instability due to indexers and the way they operate. And people don't seem to understand something which is relating to the way the transactions move across the network. They don't move peer to minor to peer. They don't move in a globally recognized view of state through the blockchain. They move peer to peer. And this can be modeled very simply. Um, if there's a person, person A, who has a transaction, there can also be another person, person B, and when person A wants to communicate with person B, send the transaction peer to peer. Um, this is one model, and it can work. It can work pretty well uh, for pretty scalable things such as payments, tokens, anything that people want, might want to build. What we have with Jungle Bus is a system where miners are miners are interjecting into this process. They're saying, no, 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 trust us to provide the data. Overlays are compatible with peer-to-peer. -peer. Indexers are not. Indexers require you to filter through the entire blockchain in order to obtain a globally recognized view of state, and that's not going to work in the long term. What we need to do is be able to create a system where people can um, exchange directly. And there's different networks that recognize different sets of transactions in the UTXO set and facilitate their acceptance on the network. What we need to enable is a system in which you can have a federated network of peers who synchronize transactions directly. When I broadcast my transactions on Bitcoin, I go to the miners and they propagate it to all the other miners so that all the miners have the transaction and eventually it gets mined and accepted by the network. On an overlay, I should be able to broadcast to particular people who care about certain subsets of the blockchain and then they can propagate it directly. So the issue that we have right now is that people are trying to derive everything from what's on the blockchain in this globally recognized view of state. This is not going to work. What we need is direct dissemination, right? Alice sends to Bob, Bob can broadcast to the network. And then so up here we can say, um, you know, here's our, here's our network of, of miners or overlay nodes or whatever. Um, if Bob does not broadcast to the Bitcoin miners, will the transaction ever go onto the blockchain? Of course, the answer is no. We require that Bob broadcast to the miners so that the transaction can be included in the blockchain. If you're following a particular protocol, such as a protocol for tokenizing gold, and you make a transfer of gold from one person to another, and you don't broadcast that to the relevant network, the people who care about registering and tracking that gold, is your transaction valid? Probably not. So if, if someone wants to check, and no one on the gold network has ever heard of that transaction, well, not valid. Did the miners accept it? Maybe. Is that UTXO now invalid and can't be used? Maybe. But what's important here is we need to let the people know who are privy to particular types of transactions about particular subsets of the chain. What's missing here is ingest. If your ingest comes from the Bitcoin miners, you're doing it wrong. If you're running an indexer and relying on Bitcoin miners to tell you about the transactions you should care about, you're doing it wrong. You need to get the data directly from the peers who are creating those types of transactions. Alice and Bob register transactions with the people who need to know about them. If you're running a one sat ordinals indexer, you should go to the people who are making one sat ordinals transactions and you should get the data directly from them. It's not peer to minor to peer. It's peer-to-peer. -peer. So if Bob receives a transaction from Alice, Bob is going to let the OneSat Ordinals sub-network or overlay network know about that specific transaction. And that's how that network is going to know, and that network node is going to propagate it to other people who also care about tracking the same thing. That is not a perfect system. Maybe Bob doesn't broadcast to that network, and maybe that transaction gets lost. Well, then the, the network nodes need to be able to coordinate those types of things, and either let each other know about the transaction after the fact, 
or have some established rule set for saying, you know, maybe this did happen on chain 10 years ago, but no one knew about it, so guess what? Doesn't matter. With indexers, you have to re-index the entire chain in order to factor that in, and you, you rewrite history, and you have this global view of state. But state is viewed by a particular individual in the system. State is viewed by a particular network node in the system. What I receive from the people I interact with should determine my view of state at any given time. And that view of state is what drives the network. Not some globally recognized idea about what the entire blockchain says. There is no database of all IP packets on the internet. When I send a packet, it goes from one person to another. If it doesn't make it, got to resend it, got to have error handling, got to have recovery. That's how, it, that's how it works and that's how it scales. Until people stop relying on miners for everything and expecting miners to run things like what's on chain, things like jungle bus, the system will not scale. It is not peer to peer. It is based on a flawed perception that Bitcoin is a globally recognized top down view of state for the entire network. That's not how it works. Bitcoin is peer to peer. And the indexers that currently exist will not scale. I think that's pretty clear. Um, people aren't going to be able to run the processing they need on the entire chain. And this idea that there's a water filter that filters all the big, huge things and then gets it into smaller pieces and then smaller pieces and whatever. Um, that requires trust. Because what if that miner misses something? Does anybody else know? Who can verify? Only other miners. So it does require trust. And um, it's not the way forward. People need to figure out what is the source of their transactions. Who's actually making them? And if it's their business, then they should convince those people to propagate them if they need to track things. I should only need to track the things that are relevant to my business and to people that I'm dealing with. If I don't have any business doing it, I should not have the capacity to filter the entire chain down to that particular subset. If I'm a gold tracking company and I'm tracking my tokenized gold, I can make that happen. I can get all the people in the system to send their transactions to me and register them so that I can track them if they care about my view of state, if they care about me tracking them, if they trust me to do that for that particular subset of Bitcoin, not for all of Bitcoin, for that particular subset. And then beyond that, if there is a system in which, say, um, there are a federated network of gold tracking companies who share a view of state, right? Maybe there's a, a federation of, 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 of different entities who kind of cooperate together to keep track of all the gold. Well, those people need to get together and, and agree that if one of them learns about a transaction, they got to let the other people know. And that way that transaction gets everywhere it needs to. And if there's missing state, they got to have reconciliation. They got to have error handling, recovery, you know, double spend type, type detection and um, reissuance. So that if, if someone does go broadcast to the miners without registering something on the blockchain, number one, we should know who that was because guess what? Someone owned that UTXO, someone spent it, someone didn't let you know. You can keep that person accountable or ban them from the system. And then number two, have a way to reissue a new UTXO that replaces the old one if you're doing a UTXO based overlay, which you need to be doing for scalability. And that way we can arrive at a system that does not require this globally flawed top-down view of state. It's that simple. We have peer to peer, and then you register it, not peer to minor to peer. So by solving this state reconciliation issue, by ensuring that transactions can be propagated directly and that only the relevant and necessary parties are able to, um, to view things. We can create a scalable system, even though it is not a system that is based on this idealistic and flawed view of a globally recognized blockchain. That's not how blockchain works and that's not how it's going to scale. So I hope this has been clear. I hope the explanation has been um, concise enough for you to understand what we're doing and uh, we will be releasing software that facilitates this model of Bitcoin a model that allows anybody to run things but only what they need and that requires people to get together and communicate transactions to the relevant and necessary organizations who need to know about them in order to track things but without requiring the miners to give you everything
and especially not for free. Thank you.